Well, on this day in 2018, five people were killed during an attack at the Capitol Gazette offices. The city of Annapolis hosted a five year remembrance now, along with a wreath laying ceremony to honor the victims of that mass shooting. Alex Glaze has more from Annapolis tonight. Five years ago, a gunman forced his way into the Capitol Gazette's office and killed five staffers. It's the largest mass shooting against journalists in the nation's history. Today, family, friends, and members of the community came together to remember those five victims. It was a day of remembrance. Today's ceremony is being held in loving memory of Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters. Grief. I do believe there have been 311 mass shootings in this country this year. It's awfully hard to stay hopeful, but I'm begging you all to try. Five years after a gunman killed five Capital Gazette workers in the newspaper's offices, members of the Annapolis community gathered at a memorial dedicated to those five journalists for a wreath laying ceremony. I can't imagine that pain. Um, but all we can do is just show some love from the city of Annapolis. Love is one of the things that has helped Maria Hyacin. Strength, love, patience, and time do make things better. In a statement, Governor Wes Moore said, in part, my heart is with the families who mourn. No words or tribute can ease the immeasurable loss they've endured. I use them as something that helps you know when I'm having a hard time think I, I try to think that they would want me to have the best life I can you know they all loved us we we're like a big family in there in Annapolis Alex Glaze WJZ and in 2021 the convicted gunman was sentenced to five life terms in prison without the possibility of parole and a six life term for attempted murder and hundreds of more years on gun and assault charges